everybody knows I love my coffee. That's right. And most often, I drink it black. Well, something came in the mail that may make you change your mind. We've got some power creamer. And one of the flavors is pumpkin spice. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So usually I'm coming to Rachel with a product review, and she's like, okay, let's do that. Or I'm coming to her with squid or liver. And I'm like, let's not do that. Well, today I have a product review that I know you're going to love because it involves two things that you really, really like, ghee and coffee. Yeah, I am not pushing back on the opportunity to do this review. I was even okay that you paid for all of this. Yes, so this is Omega Power Creamer and we purchased this personally and I'm super excited. A lot of people have talked about it and I don't know, I just like, okay, it's time to try it because like my favorite like bottled coffee, which is super coffee, their creamer is okay, but they've changed the formulation of their actual coffee drink. So I've been looking for something so I can have other flavored coffees. Mm -hmm. And our favorite is pumpkin spice. Yes. And there's very few pumpkin spices out there that I really, really like. Yes, a lot of them have wonky ingredients. So we have three flavors, although they have two other flavors that I did not order because they're just vanilla and cocoa. And I'm like, yeah, Meh. we want something different. So this is Omega Power Creamer. Three flavors. I bought cinnamon roll. What do you got? Pumpkin spice is what you got. I know that, but what do you got? Salted caramel. And we have pumpkin spice. Okay, so we're gonna try them all. Yay! Just on the front, this is made with grass-fed ghee, coconut oil, and MCT oil. I see a little K for keto on there. It does say keto-friendly, naturally simple. There's 20 servings in this bottle. So I'm gonna say, let's start off with salted caramel. All right. I mean, I'm happy about everything. Okay. You want to make yours salted caramel? Make this one cinnamon? Okay, so let's see. You gotta make the biggest one. It does seem to blend them, but here's the problem. The biggest one needs to be pumpkin. This is broken. So we, we, unless we're gonna go grab our blender, we're just gonna- Can you stir it? We're gonna put it in and try to stir it really well. Vigorously. Because we left out all the bad stuff and the ingredients you can't pronounce. Just use a frother or a blender to enjoy guilt and worry free. We're gonna pretend it and I think it'll still taste good. Do you want me, me to make a blender noise? You want to, uh, yeah. Okay. First you gotta Ooh, get the Look, lid. I got scissors. He's stabbing the product. I'm stabbing the product. Okay, so let's see. An ingredient is, refrigeration is not necessary. Store in a dark, cool area. Really? Don't you like the fact that it's butter? I still feel like I want to put it in the refrigerator. No, it'll get too hard. Okay, I'm so looking for what is a serving. you need to shake it. A serving, I did shake it. A serving is one tablespoon. Like you need to shake it more. We need autumn. She's the best shaker. Okay, so the serving size is one tablespoon. We're starting off with this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is ghee. Definitely don't mistake it. And cook oh, something yeah. in it you wouldn't want to cook salted caramel in. Is it awesome? It's so good he's going to share it. I know that we, we uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you kind of need to blend this. Oh, wow. Because it's just kind of floating on top. So here, let's do this. Brrr. We wore it out. I did. We absolutely wore it out. That's actually pretty good. That worked. That is delicious. Dude, I would drizzle that over some recipes too. I'm not gonna lie. That is so tasty. That's good, but I feel like we need to go stick this in a blender. 
Oh, that's good. But yeah, go blend it. You want to just blend the next flavor? Yeah. That's a good flavor. That is really good. And like I'm saying, I mean, I, wouldn't you drizzle that? It's got such a good flavoring in it. Yeah. Okay, next flavor. Next one is this is a cinnamon, cinnamon roll. roll. So go blend it up. We're going to blend it up, but do you want to taste it before we blend it? I think we need to taste it before we blend it. I don't it. want my coffee to get cold. Did you cheat? Did you taste this? I didn't. to shake it and then I put a little dab of extra in there because I forgot to shake it. No cheating while I do this one. I'm gonna be good. I will drink the other one though. Okay, so I blended it all up. Now, I feel like before we taste it with the coffee, we should taste it just- like By itself. Cause by we, itself. We tasted the other one by itself. Okay, so let's start off with this one. I will say the blending makes a big difference. I'm gonna say you have to blend. You it. don't have the frothy experience. It's easier to get it off the spoon. Yeah. That is very That's good. good. This really tasted like a salty caramel. I don't taste like. I punch, taste cinnamon. I taste cinnamon, but it's not punch you in the face cinnamon. Right. I get like a back note of cinnamon. Yeah. It's not punching your face. This one, this one was better as salted caramel. I get a back note of cinnamon with that, but I don't get like the whole cinnamon roll. Think about cinnamon roll, you think about the icing. That is a good pumpkin spice. That's a good pumpkin spice. That is a good okay, pumpkin spice. Okay, now is the important part. With coffee. Now again, you I'm gonna tell you, you have to blend it. Sometimes like, you know, I can get things like the, the uh, MCT oil powders and you can get away without blending it. Shake it a little. You have to blend it. We're gonna have to buy a new one of these because it broke. Rest in peace. So this is the salted, no, this is the cinnamon roll. Very subtle. It's very subtle. Tastes like it's got milk in it, mm -hmm. which is funny, it's right? butter. Because butter does that when it gets into coffee. I always think it's funny when people say to us, what do you mean you put butter in your coffee? That's disgusting. Well, do you put cream in your coffee? Well, of course. Well, what is butter? Butter is just cream that's been churned, right? Yes. So all you're doing is putting in a solid form and mixing it. But that's all right. Okay, you ready? Takes some getting used to. Do you want to try it first or do you want me no, to try I wanna, it? No, I want you to go ahead and get yours because then you're not getting the cup back. Oh, it's all in your beardy. Now I will say it gets subtle. It's now I think that that is a good pumpkin spice. Yes. So you have it's different kinds of pumpkin coffee. So you have pumpkin spice where all of the spices come through. You're tasting the cinnamon, the nutmeg, that kind of stuff. And then you have like just pumpkin or pumpkin caramel where they are very sweet, but there's not a lot of spice note. Yeah. This is spice. So if you like pumpkin spice, this has got the good flavor. Yeah, but you may feel like you need to add a sweetener of some sort to it. Okay, well, you ready? You wanna do five things? Five things. So five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. The ingredients. So the ingredients in this, I have a feeling they're all gonna be pretty much the same. Milk fat from grass-fed cows, organic extra virgin coconut oil, yep. MCT oil, which is medium trained triglycerides, natural cinnamon flavor, non-GMO sunflower lecithin, and organic stevia. Very clean. 
very clean ingredients, like super, super clean super ingredients. Super clean. You can and I'm going to tell it. you, there's not a lot of stevia in this. If you're worried no. about a stevia that is going to like trigger your sugar cravings, no. there's not enough in here. No, there's not. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So a serving size is one tablespoon, and I think that you're going to find that is ample because it's, it's butter. It's, it's equal to a tablespoon of butter. It's very, very rich. It's richer than butter, right? Ghee, really, you taste the butter. Yes. All right, so 120 calories per serving, 14 grams of fat, uh, no protein, and no carbs. Right. So yeah, carb free. Yeah, I mean, and there really is nothing in here to even say, well, you have a hidden carb. Stevia's got no carbs. Natural cinnamon flavor. Yeah. So. The amount of cinnamon that's in this is not going to be enough to even give you a quarter of a car. And I'm going to tell you right now, because we haven't even gotten to the price yet, but I am going to say this is really tiny. And my first reaction was there is no way that this is going to be any kind of value. But that tablespoon really did its when job. When you blend it up. It looks like you added a bunch of cream to it. I would not add an extra tablespoon to this thinking like hey i usually add an extra tablespoon of creamer right. this is not the same thing okay so me. number three how does it taste i'm gonna go a little interesting here it's not the flavor it's not a punch you in the face flavor it's not kai too it's not kai too if you're looking for something super sweet it's not that no so it's not a punch you in the face flavor it's very filling and it's not sweet you know what this is so kai tu is giving you a creamer slash flavor right this is giving you fat this is giving you that fat coffee you want to have but if you use one tablespoon it's more than enough you don't have to be eating or drinking but i like to say eating a three, four, five hundred calorie fat coffee. Put one tablespoon in. If you don't like black coffee like me, that's gonna do it for you. You don't need yeah. more than that. I can tell you, I can easily drink three or four cups of a coffee that's got the Kai Tu creamer in it if allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. However, I could not drink three of these. Like I am full. You guys see me in reviews and I can usually down, I was thinking to myself, you're going to get a sip of these and I'm going to finish all of the cups well, of coffee. Well, each one is 120 calories of fat, but all fat. I, I don't think I can get through one. Wow. That's wild. That is wild to me. So do you have anything else on taste? Just that it is subtle. Like it the is- The flavoring is subtle. It, it, it tastes more like packed with flavor when you're eating it off of a spoon. I would say that the one that's the most flavorful is going to be pumpkin spice. Yeah. That's my opinion. There's the most going on in that. Number four, how much does it cost? Here okay. we go. You can buy it from their website. You can buy it from Amazon. Ghee's okay. not cheap. So, and remember, it's not just ghee. It's ghee, it's MCT oil, coconut oil. So each one of these, if you buy them individually, is $19.95. Wait, each? Each one, $19.95. So we paid $60 for this. Yes. Now you can get a bit of a discount if you buy looking at their website, like three of them. So you can get like, if you buy three different flavors, when they come in like packages, it's 50 bucks. You'd save a couple of dollars that way. Wow. Cause I mean, ghee is expensive. Right. And again, so is coconut oil and everything. So. Here's the thing, that sounds like a lot of money. It and does. it is a lot of money. I, I I had a hard time swallowing. Okay, but let's break it down like we did in our keto chow video. Yeah. Let's break it down to per serving. Yeah, because- That's a dollar per serving. So if you're doing it the way you're supposed to, having enough to get you past drinking a black coffee, giving yourself that little bit of fat that's gonna satiate you, get you to your meal. Yeah. That's one serving, one tablespoon. That's 120 calories. That's a dollar. How much did you spend going to Starbucks? How much do you spend going to Dunkin' Donuts? If you're brewing your coffee at home, which is where you're most likely gonna use this, you're still, even by adding a tablespoon of this, heck, even adding two tablespoons, not near the cost of a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Okay, so this moment is making me have to check myself. Am I drinking a keto coffee 
or a fat coffee or a bulletproof coffee or whatever you wanna call it, am I really drinking it as a meal or am I drinking it as something fun? because this really is going to fill me up. I could get 20 servings out of this, no problem, because it really is satiating, but there isn't as much of a flavor party going on in here as some of the creamers that have sweeteners and spices and things added to them. Which I think this kind of falls into number five, would we recommend it? So let's talk about that. Because to answer your question, I think that that's a good thing. I think it is too. Because if it's overly sweet, if it's overly flavorful, you're gonna want a bunch of them. So put this in there, like me, cannot do black coffee. It's gonna give me enough. Is it a meal? 100 calories is a snack. That's my thing. It's not, it's not a meal. But too many of us turn our fat coffees into a meal, but don't call it a meal. If you're putting three tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, you're you're eating. You may say, I don't like to drink my calories, but if your fat coffee is 300, 400, 500 calories, you're drinking your meal. So what you could do with this is actually have a fat coffee, throw a couple eggs, and have an actual breakfast. Or lunch, you with, can make it with your first meal at lunch. With real food. Right. Right, and have that coffee and that fat coffee experience, because I enjoy it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy a fat coffee experience, but this is actually gonna do its job with good ingredients, and I am able to check myself before I wreck myself. And getting back to price real quick, I mean, we recently went to a coffee house and they were actually selling Keto fat coffee. It was baloney. Five dollars and ninety-five cents for a cup of coffee in a little coffee house. Yeah. And it literally was a cup this big, with a tablespoon of butter in it. Like That's what it was. Loop. That was and it. that was five dollars and ninety-five cents. Yeah. So if you want to get back to price, let's say this this cup. Even if you're doing a K cup, I mean, this is cookies and cream. A Bones coffee. As good as you get. Let's say you're doing a K-cup. The average K-cup is what, 60 cents when you make it at home? So 60 cents, so a dollar sixty for a cup of coffee. Cheaper you than going out. Can't get that at Dunkin' Donuts, can't get that at Starbucks, and you certainly can't get that at your local coffee house. No problems with like the classic so you know, syrups that they might try to sneak in there. There there's nothing getting, you know, snuck in that you would not feel good about. It's got good clean ingredients and yeah, a cheaper price point. So with that said, I would absolutely recommend it. So long as you understand you're not getting punched in the face with flavor. Yeah. It, this is, it's giving you fat with a hint of flavor and it's not overly sweet. Overly sweet could actually trigger you to want more sweet stuff. So I think it's, it's perfect. And if you need a little bit more sweetness, a couple more drops of stevia is not gonna hurt you. I am blown away to say, yeah, I would recommend it. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do, but honestly, I wasn't sure I was going to recommend it at number four. <laughs> when I heard that price, it scared me a little but bit. When you break it down, and we constantly have to say this, even to ourselves, break it down to per serving. I get upset when I spend $3 on a tube of toothpaste. But, but how many times do I get to brush my teeth for that $3? Right. Well, and I'm, again, I can't stress this enough. You're actually going to get 20 servings out of this. I don't always get 20 servings out of different kinds of creamers that are out there because I can go through a bunch of coffee. Let us know down in the comments section if you've tried the power creamer. Let us know if you've tried a flavor that we don't have here. And yeah. like, is it a flavor like so awesome? Like is the French vanilla and the chocolate Does it punch so it awesome? Face? Does it punch it? Should we try that flavor? Let us know if you've tried it down below. Now, if you like seeing videos like this and other product reviews, check out our complete product review playlist, which you're gonna find right over there. That's like a tongue twister. Now also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, right into the coffee cup. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we taste something delicious and surprising, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.